I think the biggest story that I saw, at least, was uh, Radakovich went on the Joe Rose show and Joe talked to him about ACC realignment or conference realignment where UM sees themselves fitting in all this. Clemson obviously has now filed a suit as well against the ACC, so now it's them and FSU that have active lawsuits going on to get the hell out of Dodge. And Rad said that basically, we're good. I'm good. Miami loves the ACC. We have no desire to leave the ACC. And thoughts on that? Obviously, that was a polarizing thing to say because it's, you know, just ignoring the, basically you're saying, you know what? We have no desire to be part of the big two. Hmm. Interesting. Interessante. Uh, I think it's kind of a smart tactical move based on what we saw last year with Florida State. They had a fractured state with the ACC, and look at where it got them. They went undefeated. Their conference didn't go to bat for them. You saw the Big Big Two steamroll them out of the college picture. Now, Miami feels really good about its chances this year in an extended playoff situation that maybe they can get into the playoffs. Do you really want to piss off the ACC similar to what Florida State did? So I think it's good to just kind of keep that one close to the vest, even though they might want to jump into the Big Two. Say we're not interested. We're happy with the ACC. You can back channel that all day. So I think that's actually a smart move. Now, I'd like to shift the discussion and get your opinions on it. Okay, so Clemson leaves. The ACC goes to the SEC or Big Ten. Florida State leaves. And you know it's going to be monumentally harder for them to win in those two conferences. Miami thus becomes in the new Big East, if you will. And last time we were in the Big East, we did really, really good. So we keep getting our automatic qualifier to jump into the playoff situation, and we have an easier watered-down conference to do it. I don't know. I think there's smart avenues there. It sounds bad on paper, but maybe it's a little bit smarter than we think. Your takes? Yeah, I think it's brilliant. I totally agree with you. I mean, you you have to you have to not save face, but you've got to make it all rainbows and unicorns. It's great. Of course it's great because you want that support. And yes, my God, take me back to the Big East. Everybody wants to go to the SEC and wants to go to the Big Ten. Why? Why? So we can continue to be what we have been for 20 years? No. Give me some in, some some weak schedules and some inflated hope and get me to the college football playoffs every year with a 12 or 16 team scenario. I'm in. We can talk shit more than we can talk shit now. And it'd be great. It would be. It'd be awesome. So politically correctness, I think it's very, very smart for you to be supportive while your other two big two are taking you to the woodshed, right? Don't be, you don't want to be the the third wheel, if you will, right? Because now if Miami jumps on, they're the third wheel because you got Clemson who's doing it after Florida State. No, keep it nice and copacetic. Everybody's friendly. I can honestly say the only thing that I'm at all disparaged about the fact that we even consider staying in this conference is the officiating. Mm. If it wasn't for that, I why not? Big East me all day. Let's go. Big ACC. ACC big. ACC East. I don't care what you call it. I want to be there. Yeah, so we're fucking unanimous on this one, man. So I, and I was looking, so let's just look at the numbers here. So we know that, right, the playoff right now is at 12, it's going to go to 14, right? They, they already want to expand it to 14 or whatever, or even if it's going to go to 16, whatever it is, okay? But they're not going to be given automatic bids. It's just still going to be the conference champions and then all the top-ranked teams after that. So each conference is going to be guaranteed X amount of bids because there was huge backlash and they backed off that. So let's just look at what we're looking at now. The Big Ten is going to have 18 teams right now. The SEC is going to have, I believe, like 17 or 16, but now obviously they're bringing in, um, they're going to want, you know, when, with all this realignment, they're talking about, you know, North Carolina and Virginia. And so you're talking about now conferences, they're going to have over 20 teams. And I understand there's going to be a huge financial windfall there. But at what point? Do you not want to have to like, dude, these are not small schools that are these 20 teams. These are monsters or monsters or, or, or schools that could be monsters if they had the right direction. You want to deal like deal with that gauntlet every fucking year? Like give me my ACC automatic qualifier. And you know what? If I only have, if the ACC uh, champion goes undefeated and Miami goes, has only one loss, they're still probably going to be able to get in as a, as, as an at-large bid. 
And so Absolutely. I'm saying, like, yeah, give give me that. Look, if it's not going to impact recruiting, like, fuck. Maybe Syracuse and Wake yeah, Forest. Bring in UConn. Build up the basketball Duke. side. UConn can come down. That's fine. Give <laughs> me a couple yeah. of Big 12 schools. Don't want to be yes. up there. Like, I'm, and that sounds, that sounds like a bunch of pussy mentality, but I am all for it. I, I mean, why not? What what are you gonna do? You will get you're gonna have you go into one of these conferences, you're literally gonna have the 24, 25 gator schedule every year. Every year. Why are you gonna do that? <laughs> yeah, look at the gators. <laughs> what do, what do, why in the world would you want to do that? Oh, you you go to Miami to play in these games, kiss my ass. You're gonna be six the, and six every year, and nobody's gonna give a shit. Bro, the SEC has 14 teams. Six of them were ranked this year. And ranked in the top like seventeen, <laughs> so just yeah, it's there Listen, comes a point where make... I understand there's going to be a lot of money, but there comes a point what what the the trade off. Well, the there. money is there if you make the playoffs. Well, exactly, as long as you make the playoff consistently. So get to the playoffs Correct. consistently in a in a shitbag conference, and you're going to make all kinds of money. And exactly, Listen. exactly. Josh Pate was on to something. He said, because of the conference alignment, there is a unique thing. And he mentioned the Big 12, right? He mentioned the Big 12 yeah. because he's like, there's a lot of people who want college football rights. A lot of these, you know, providers want to be able to pick that up. So you have the Big 12 out there. And, and we keep saying this over and over. The Big 12 is looking pretty, right? It keeps looking prettier because you're going to have these other things. But by default, you're going to go ahead and get the rest of these schools to make a pretty unique, interesting conference. That is a little bit more watered down in terms of competition. That's a little bit easier to win. So you have the ability to maybe make some kind of other deal, you know, in terms of more money, maybe not as much as the big two, but more money than you're making currently in your ACC network because they want to go ahead and maybe follow a more attractive Miami team. And look, Florida State and Clemson leaves. And thank you guys. You guys are the bad guys for us. We can sit back and be like, look, ACC, we're nice. You have better officiating for us. We're actually not giving you the proverbial middle finger every two two steps we we have and taking you to the court. They're playing it smart. They really, really are. Miami is. You got to applaud that with Dan Radakovich and the powers that be. But now you don't have Florida State and Clemson to contend with. <laughs> it's like, who are you going to play? Like, who's your marquee tough game that you're going to have to do? Oh, Georgia Tech? Who cares? Georgia Tech. Louisville. Who cares? Oh, and Louisville. Uh, Louisville becomes that. That's it. So all, all you got to do is get will be gone. Yeah. Virginia will be gone. So it's like, come on now. And it, it's, it's my, and, and, and think about that too. We could see a situation too, because Florida state is now like pondering over this UF schedule every year. They don't have to play Miami anymore. That rivalry could die. Oh, it would be over. It would be over. It would be over. Because why would you want to like risk that rivalry game and have an L on your schedule when you're in the SEC every week and you have to play all these teams? Because r- remind you, they have to play Oklahoma. Well, they have to play Texas. They're forced to play Florida. They might have to play Clemson, the LSU. Like, good luck. Good well, luck. Where, where do you think FSU goes? Do you think they go to the – so remember, they were given the opportunity uh, way back in the day, kids. They were given an invite to join the SEC, and they turned it down for the exact reason they were talking about now. Bobby Bowden didn't want to deal with that regular season schedule. He didn't want to deal with it, so they stayed independent for a bit, and then they ended up joining the ACC. Um, but where do you think they go? Do you think they go to the Big Ten, or do, do they go to the SEC? I, I would think they'd prefer to go to the Big Ten. Well, I think the Big Ten overall is easier, but it's still not easy. No, right? I mean, no, still, but from a recruiting standpoint. With, yeah. I mean, look, that's you. And it's, a, it's an interesting point that you bring up, because I was thinking about this a few minutes ago, which is, okay, the only – downside I think that Mario would then have an issue with is if they stay in the ACC and it becomes a watered down conference and it is the Big East you got to spin your recruiting really well right because you're going to have everyone recruiting against you that says why would you want to go and play in the ACC there's no competition there you're not going to get better there blah 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 right come play where the big boys play blah 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 well Mario can spin it like that's fine. Um, but a lot of those big boy teams are going six and six and seven and five and not making anything. So why don't you come here? We can kind of run the you know, circle the wagons, if you will, on a yearly basis. We can dominate this conference. So easy sell scoop. It, it, I think it's an easy sell, well, but it's but you the, know it's easier that, than that because all you gotta say is when we set the record for NFL first round draft picks, what conference were we in? Yeah, we were in the big east. 
And and in terms of real quick, I think in terms of the Big Ten and the SEC, I feel like the SEC makes whatever TV conglomerate that picks them up, they make that TV conglomerate better because they're the brand. I will tell you, the Big Ten is only sexy. The Big Ten only makes money because of Fox. It is not the same product as the SEC. No, their it Big Ten not. network, dude, makes fucking more money than the SEC network does. And the Big Ten network, because of all the sports yeah. in the Midwest, because it yeah. kind of has that church following amongst them. But it, it it's like they're made more by the money from their TV rights. They don't Their product, especially on the football field, isn't as sexy as you think it is. I, I will say this about the watered down conference and you guys uh, selling the biggest a little bit short because you are you got to remember during that run, we had an adversary that was generally a top 15, top 10 team as well. And that was Virginia Tech. We like need that to bring was, that back. Yeah. So you well, we also, would need, also right, but I'm just saying news. there would need to be a second team like a Louisville that would have to ascend. And I would think that they'd probably be the prime team if unless Virginia Tech also stayed it. But you would need a second team to validate the conference let's not count on smu too <laughs> you know SMU oh, i forgot about SMU. Forgot yes, I forgot. yeah there you go and cal too and you know yeah, yeah and stanford know, cal, but yeah <laughs> you know i mean it's the smartest conference right. in the country no absolutely yeah, it yeah. is and it's smart for the miami all three of those <laughs> i don't necessarily agree wholeheartedly because in all of that speech and on the uh the joe rose show never did dan radikovich say yeah we don't intend on leaving he said we're happy where we are Mm -hmm. that, that's fine. I'm, I'm happy in my home. But if some, you know, something happened and drastic and I could and I hit the lottery, I'm not that happy with my home. Yeah, words, <laughs> you know? words matter, kids. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. It's, it's called contextual literacy. <laughs>